Polygon scan conversion is a method for taking a list of XY coordinates that define a polygon and figuring out which pixels in the frame buffer are covered by such a polygon. The algorithm we will use processes the polygon one scan line at a time. First, we will give an overview of the algorithm, and after that, we'll examine the algorithm in more detail. The big view is a blown-up representation of the actual bitmap in the smaller view on the right. The numbers on the left side of the view are the numbers of the scan lines in our virtual bitmap. To scan convert a polygon, we start at the scan line corresponding to the Y value of the bottom vertex of the polygon. As we move up line by line in the frame buffer, we will fill in all of the pixels between the left and right edges of the polygon. The algorithm maintains a list of active edges. An active edge is any edge that crosses the current scan line. When we start scan converting at line 7, both edges B and C are placed in the active edge table. As we move up to a new scan line, we fill in the pixels in that scan line between successive pairs of active edges. Right now, only the edges B and C are active. When we get to line 12, we see that edge C ends there, so we can remove it from the active edge table. At the next scan line, we find that edge D begins, and we place it in the active edge table. This is why edges D and C don't meet in the representation. If they did, there would be one scan line where there was an odd number of active edges, and the algorithm would get confused. All of the edges are processed in this manner, and gone. Let's now look at the algorithm in more detail. In this new window, the view shows a graphical representation of the data structures used for processing the polygon. Both the edge table and the active edge table are represented in this view. The edge table is a list of all five edges of the new polygon in an arbitrary order. The active edge table contains only those edges active for the current scan line. We will draw boxes around active edges. The algorithm does a fair amount of preprocessing before actually filling in the pixels. For each polygon edge, the edge table contains four data fields. The first, as I've already mentioned, is the edge's least Y value. The second is its greatest Y. We know an edge is active when the current scan line lies between the edge's least and greatest Y values. The next data field is the current X intercept, meaning the X position where the current scan line crosses the edge. The final field is the inverse slope delta x delta y, where delta y between successive scan lines is just 1. Therefore, the inverse slope is simply delta x, which is added to the x-intercept to get the x-intercept for the next scan line. To summarize, here are all of the data fields for edge b. The edge starts at the point 3, 6, and moves negative 0.13 pixels in x for every one pixel it moves in y. Therefore, Edge B starts at scan line 3, ends at scan line 19, intersects the current scan line at x equals 6, and has an inverse slope of negative 0.13. Currently, edges B and C are active, and therefore they are highlighted with a box. To start off, we will be filling in all of the pixels between edges B and C. The thick line in the edge table view between edges B and C indicates that the current scan line should be filled in between those two edges. When the algorithm reaches line 7, edges D and E become active as well. So we have four currently active edges. At each scan line, the active edges are sorted on their current x-intersect. We then fill in the spans between adjacent edges. We continue to fill two spans per scan line until line 11, where edges C and D end and are taken off of the active edge table. Now the edges B and E are active, until scan line 16, where edge E becomes inactive and edge A becomes active. 